Gently Show. I'm Jenny Long. And I'm Celie Clark. And we are Gently. And we are excited to be here with you this morning. And we want to share some things that are related to STEM. If you are looking for some STEM activities to incorporate into your classroom, we might have a solution for you. We have some third grade students at Greenfield Elementary that are studying the solar system. And they were looking for ways to bring technology into their lesson and to create an interactive display. So they're going to actually use their computer lab time, and then they're going to reserve the extra computer lab as well. So it's probably going to take about three 45-minute class periods to do this activity. So keep that in mind if that's something that you would like to do. In the tutorial video attached, we're going to show you how to use Makey Makey, Scratch, and Makerspace items to create an interactive display of the solar system with your students. So the video explains the project. It also shows you how to code in Scratch and how Makey Makey works with Scratch to make the planets interactive. If you guys are interested in doing this with your class, contact Jenny and I, yeah. and we would love to come by and help you. All right. That'd be awesome. Enjoy. Have a great day. Hey guys, this is Miss Clark, and I am an instructional technologist for Eagle Mountain Saginaw ISD. And today you are going to learn how to make an interactive solar system display. All right, so with this display, you're gonna have three main parts. First is the solar system display that you're going to make with your partners. This can be made from different kind of materials like clay, food, or even foil. Then we are going to code your research that you've been doing in class to match your display. And we're going to code it within a program called Scratch. Then we're going to hook up a cool new piece of technology called a Makey Makey to the computer. It's going to connect your solar system with your code. And each time you've touched the planet, your research will show up on the screen. So let's see what it really looks like. So this is the inside of Scratch. Here you have a sprite or a character and a background. And then over here on the right, this is where we code. So we have our code and then where it says say, we have all of our research information listed about different planets. And this will be kind of what it looks like on the screen when you press the planet. each planet the information will appear on the screen. So how does that really work? So here's a Makey Makey and a Makey Makey kind of looks like a game controller. So you have up, down, right, and left arrows and then you have your two buttons here as well. We are going to code within our scratch the up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, and left arrow. And with each one we will code our research information for a different planet. So here in this picture, you can see these cords coming out of the different planets in their display. These cords are then connected to the up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, or left arrow. You can see here on the Makey Makey. So let's say Earth is connected to the left arrow in this picture. So when you click on Earth, an electric current runs through the wire to the Makey Makey controls the computer, and your information will show up on the screen that you coded for Earth. Here's an example. So here you can see the kids are pressing the planet, and then up on the screen, the information appears. So as they touch the planet, the information appears on the screen. Pretty cool. So let's get started. So here are the steps we need to complete. First, we're going to choose a character or what Scratch calls a sprite. Then we're going to choose a background. Then we're going to code our planet facts. The up arrow will be a fact, the down arrow will be a fact, the right arrow will be a fact, and the left arrow will be a fact. If you notice, there are four facts here, and there are four people in your group. So each of you will choose one of the planets that you are researching to leave uh, or to code facts about that planet. 
If you are in a group of five, then we will be able to do five. But each of you will choose one planet that you want to code. So let's get started. Let's see how we do this. We're going to go to the website scratch.mit.edu and we're going to log in with the card that your lab manager is going to give you. Okay, you will click sign in in the top right hand corner and then enter in the username and password that is on your card. And press sign in. Oh, if you mess up, it's okay. Just try it one more time. All right, once you get in, you're gonna come to a purple screen and it will say you have joined the class. So click get started. This information is not for any specific person because you are all in a group. So we're all gonna fill it out the same. On the birth year, go ahead and click 2009. And then on the gender, click female. And on the country, click United States. Click next step. Congratulations, you now have an account. Click go to class. Now we are in our account. And to get started, we're going to click create. If the screen pops up, just click the puzzle piece and say allow. All right, so now we're gonna get coding. First, remember, we're going to select our sprite. So go ahead and right click on the cat and click delete. Then right over here where it says new sprite, click the little uh, guy with the cute hair. Here are all of the different characters you can choose from. We will be listing facts, so try to choose a character who could actually say these facts, like an animal or something from fantasy or people. I'm going to click fantasy, and here are a lot of these little guys here that kind of look like aliens, so I think that would be good to explain our planet facts. So I'm going to choose one, and then click OK. Now I'm going to select a background. So I'm going to click stage on beside my little uh, sprite over here on the left. Then I'm going to click Backdrops right up here in the middle. I'm then going to click on the mountain with the moon or sun. And here are all of the different ones to choose from. Now remember, we are doing solar system research. So let's choose a background from space. So if you look over here under theme, there's even a space theme. So choose one of these four backgrounds. Then click OK. Now we are going to work with our sprite. So go ahead and click on your sprite right here. Go up to the top and click on scripts. Now our guy kind of looks like he's floating in the air, so I can even click him and just drag him down where I would like. There are two main coding pieces we're going to be talking about, events and looks. So we're going to begin with events. Click events, and if you notice right here, it says when space key pressed. We want to go ahead and click it and drag it over into our workspace. We are going to do that four times. One, two, three, four. Now we are going to code it to, be, uh, to work with our Makey Makey. So we need an up arrow press the down arrow beside the word space, and click down arrow, click the arrow again, right arrow, click the arrow again, and left arrow. So now check your screen. Do you have up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, and left arrow? That way we can code each of the controls for the Makey Makey. Now click on looks. We want it to talk about our research. So click the word, say hello. We wanna make sure we don't click say hello for two seconds, because that means it would only stay on the screen for however many seconds. We want it to stay on the screen anytime those arrows are pushed. So go ahead and click say hello and drag it over. 
one for each of our events. Now for today in the lab, we just want you to go ahead as a group and decide which four planets you're gonna do. Remember, this will be one planet per person. So think about your two planets that you're researching and choose one that you would like to code. And then you're going to put each person's planet, one of each person's planet underneath the code. So we're gonna say uh, one is sun, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter. Now remember, these you don't do yours exactly like me. We want you to do yours as your group um, has decided. That is all we uh, want you to get done today for the lesson. So there's three main things. Remember, you're going to choose your sprite, choose your background, and then begin your coding. Once you choose your sprite and your background, you cannot go back and change it because the coding is actually um, connected to that character. So make sure that you choose wisely the first time so that way um, you don't have to redo your code. All right, I hope you guys have fun. I'm gonna create a second video to help you with the next step.